Well, hello everybody, Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. Got another trailer rig that I was able to do a video on. We've had quite a few here uh, that we've been doing, some truck builds and things of that nature, but I uh, finally got one I could do a video on because uh, I had some time. So, I thought I'd show you that coming up next. Okay, we're actually here with Easley and Bevan Babano. They came in from uh, Lafayette. Lafayette, Louisiana, and they are the owners of the trailer I've been talking about. So let's walk over and tell, what do you think? I love it. I love it, man. It's exactly what I'm going to be needing. Uh, I told Mr. Doug uh, what I was uh, doing, and uh, he came through. Man, this is a, it's a blessing to get something built like that exactly, uh, you know, to meet your needs. Um, it's just a, it's a blessing. It's beautiful, man. I can't wait to, to use it. So the service was good. Communication from us yes. was good. Everything. Everything uh, everything was detailed, emailed, uh, broke down everything, itemized list of what he was going to do. And uh, come out here and basically showed me exactly every component, every piece of equipment. Showed me how to use everything. We tested everything out. Everything is working fine. And I'm uh, just very impressed with the services. And then what did you win? Oh, I was about to say that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even won some cookies, homemade cookies, oatmeal cookies right here. Well, you man. don't homemade. get to keep the gift box. We oh, put that back bad. in so somebody else can win. <laughs> yeah, anybody who comes in, yeah. makes a purchase or doesn't make a purchase, they oh, get to the open the gift, gift box. The oh, look at them. <laughs> Honey, they were trying to take trying your to get, gift boxes. Get a brush every time I come hey, in. Yeah, huh? hey, but right. anyway, hey, we appreciate your business very much. Um, uh, blessed to have you guys as customers and uh, just hope you have safe travels on the way back and if you have any questions or need anything as you get well you've been doing this for 20 years so I'm not gonna say as you get going but <laughs> if, you, if you need us for anything you know we're here okay yes, sir. Thank, All you. Right. thank you okay guys so on this trailer rig this is a 16 I think it's actually a 20 foot trailer uh, was brought to us from a gentleman from Louisiana and he's got an eight gallon per minute Largo hot water skid that we put on here along with another Largo eight gallon per minute cold water machine and uh, these are both excellent machines I've got this same mean, uh, machine myself and I've had it for quite a few years and absolutely love it we've got a uh, gas tank here for the cold water machine the uh, hot water machine of course has the diesel tank and along with the gas tank for the Honda engine on it but these are both Honda GX 690s and uh, general pump TSF 2021s this is a small little uh, tank he's going to use I don't think he's planning to use it for bleach it's mainly for uh, degreasing uh, but he's planning actually I think to change this tank out uh, to a little bit bigger one he's got a valve down there he brought the tanks with him and so he's got two of these uh, square tanks here that he's using both of those for water and they're both plumbed uh, of course down here at the bottom and they're plumbed with uh, banjo valve so he can take those off and drain the tanks if he needs to and he's got the Y strainer filters down there and then as we come around this side we've got the plumbing coming from the hose reel and so he can fill both tanks it'll tell you know, understands it's going to take a little bit longer to fill both tanks but we've got it set up where he can shut off one of the tanks and fill one at a time or try to fill them both at one time but uh, this is how he wanted it set up and so uh that's pretty much the way he he wanted it we've got wait for that stupid loud truck to drive by sorry about that um and then we have two job float valves both right in plumbed right in here and of course you know when you're plumbing your tanks um, you've got the water inlet coming here off of the water hose uh, reel. Here's the Flexilla water hose, garden hose that he'll hook up to a water supply. The water will fill up and then we'll go to the tanks. 
And then we've got two 200 foot fierce jet uh, pressure wash hoses on here with a three Kings stack reel. So you've got garden hose and you've got your two pressure hoses right there. And then over here, we've got an 18 inch uh, Kings soft wash hose reel with the soft jet uh, 5 8 hose. And that is plumbed to the soft E 12 volt that we sell. This is one I've been telling you about a couple of previous videos where it's made. It can be portable if you want to, you know, take it out. You can very easily do that. Um, set it in there. Actually, in the back of my truck, I use a couple of sandbags just to weight it down while I'm driving around. But this one, we actually mounted it to the trailer with the hardware so it's not going anywhere. Um, but very easy to get under there and loosen the bolts if you want to take it out or need to. Seven gallon per minute Remco pump. And then we've got the uh, Hayward metering valves um, along with the check valves. And so um, we've got one of the valves going to the chemical tank over here. And we are using the uniseals that we always use for tanks. And then here is a vent hose that's going down through the bottom of the trailer just in case you were to use it for bleach or whatever it can vent out and then of course your inlet is going to the water um, there and then this one go into the chemical tank so uh, we've got a cap down there for him uh, so he can use that if he needs to disconnect it over here he can cap uh, that hose there's your gas tank for the pressure washer um, engine, and then this is the diesel for the uh, hot water heater. So very simple. Um, you know, that's what I like to do is very simple, basic uh, setups. He's got a lot of things that um, he's been in business for a while, so we don't have a downstream injector on here, um, except for what came with the machines. Uh, he's got all that stuff a lot of things guns and stuff he's he's already got all that kind of stuff but just a very basic type simple system for what we do every day not a lot of bells and whistles to it um, as a matter of fact the only bells and whistle we usually add, ever add if customers want it is the flow pro downstream remote I'm not into all those other um, lighted stuff and you know, remotes for soft wash systems and all that kind of stuff. They're nice, but um, just always presents opportunities for failure on something and keeping you down. So we like to build them nice, simple, so that people can uh, get to work and stay working type thing. So anyway, if you've got a uh, system you need built, uh, truck skids, trailer skids, van builds, whatever you need, we do them all. And... Uh, Give us a shout. We've got a couple more in the queue, a couple more in the line that we're doing, and we've had some here uh, lately also, but just never had a chance to do videos on them. So I uh, wanted to do this one, kind of similar to one we did a few months ago. But uh, anyway, you know, that's it. So hope you guys like it. If you need a truck build, skid build, trailer build, band build, whatever you need, uh, we can help you out. Y'all have an awesome day. Everybody, Doug Rucker here with Doug Rucker School, Doug Rucker Store. Standing here with Jeff Blackman. We got the Difference Makers Conference coming up this February 2nd and 3rd, 2023, right here in Kingwood, Texas. Building relationships is one of the things we're going to be talking about. And just like you and I have built a relationship, we're very good friends. We talk a lot. We share jobs back and forth. 
You're going to talk a little about building relationships with commercial clients, property managers, correct? Right. So I'm going to talk about building relationships, uh, showing you some of the strategies that I use how to create rela uh, relationships with, with others to uh, get past those doorkeepers and how not only to build relationships, but how to keep those relationships for long term. So building relationships will be one of the subjects. Get there, Difference Makers Conference, February 2nd and 3rd. Right here in Kingwood, Texas.